everybody it's Lisa Pennington and I am so excited to show you how to make such a simple project it's just gonna take me a second to make a tube to put your smashed pennies in although I will tell you the one we're making today will say pressed pennies on it because I have been told by my children they're actually called pressed pennies for real and not smashed pennies this is an old tube we met we have that I made I've changed it up a little and made it better but I'm going to show you how to make one of these. Okay, what you need, we're going to Disney World. You can see my nails, super cute. If you watch my other video on nail art, here's a sample of it. You can see how I made those with my Cricut. But we're so excited to be going, and I want, I love to give my kids a um, tube to put their pressed pennies in. And of course, I want to make it special for them by putting some words on it. So what you're going to need, you're going to need an M&M's tube. Let's get all this out of the way. Oh, I'm going to show you. I'm always showing you. I'm diffusing while I'm working. Today, I'm diffusing peppermint and northern light black spruce because, dude, this stuff it will cheer you up and help you feel grounded and inspired and encouraged. So this is what I'm diffusing, my little uh, office diffuser today. And I always want you all to know what I'm diffusing, so that's what I'm diffusing today. Okay, to make our little pressed penny tube, we're going to need an M&M's container. And you're going to need some Cricut um, vinyl. Uh, I really like this Cricut uh, adhesive foil. Um, they have different metals. And I thought this was sort of copper looking and it would be really good. It's a little bit gold, more gold than a penny, obviously. But it's got a nice um, uh, line in it. Kind of, it's real metallic. And so I'm using that. It's super sticky. Um, you're going to want some sort of... Um, scraper tool and a um, a um, a weeding tool and you'll need some transfer paper and um, wait where's my transfer paper here's a scrap of it you'll need some transfer paper I like the different ones today I'm using the Cricut clear transfer paper and you'll want just um, for one of my little tips you'll just need a scrap of paper okay so I already cut out my um, my vinyl because I wanted to show y'all I've got other videos showing how to make it I used um, the one of the Cricut fonts called Cricut uh, basics I think and I just made the words I scrunched the letters together using the um, letter uh, uh, you know narrowing uh, option and then I use the weld tool to make it all into one thing and I added a little Mickey Mouse head okay the um, the label to this I waited to take the label off because I just wanted to show y'all how super easy it is I didn't cut it I haven't done anything to it and it's gonna come off really easy okay and all you're gonna have is just this tiny little bit of residue which will come off really easily with just a little bit of um, lemon oil lemon essential oil or just a little bit of scraping um, if you have a goo remover, whatever, it comes off really easily. Okay, and I don't worry about this; these words up here, although you can rub them off eventually. So this is our tube. The reason I picked orange is because the sun that was, I'm going with on this trip, his color, they all have a color, his color is orange. So we're going to use this tube, and I've already cut my words out like I told you. I cut them out also on this bigger one just so I could work with this and show you a couple of little tips. Okay, the first thing I do is I always peel off the outside so I'm left with just my words. Okay, super easy, right? Um, I know I made this big one and it won't fit on here as well as I like, but um, I will use this probably in our little scrapbook. But I wanted to show you a really quick um, weeding tip. Okay, I'm going to have to pull out all the little pieces that are in the middle. So I'm going to use my weeding tool, which is looks like a dental pick, and I'm going to use my little scrap paper scrap. This is just a throwaway scrap of paper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide. This is my tip for you. When you weed small things like this, the smaller, the the more <laughs> this is applicable. Some of these things that you're weeding out are teeny, teeny, tiny, and they will get stuck all over your fingers. And your the stuff is so adhesive. That it makes it hard to get off so this is what I do I pick it up with the weed tool so I'm gonna slide the weed tool under let's say this little E and I'm gonna put my finger on top of the weed tool and now I've picked it up with the weed tool 
and I stick it onto this piece of paper. Instead of trying to get it with my finger, and then I'm telling y'all, you'll spend your whole day trying to get pieces of vinyl off your finger, especially if you use the permanent vinyl, which is what I would be using on this 651 if I wasn't using um, this um, metallic this adhesive foil. Again, I just stick it under there, and I've picked it up with the weeding tool, can see and I'm just sticking on the piece of paper and then I don't have them stuck all over my finger okay next I took my transfer paper and I cut it down to size keep don't throw away the bottom piece of your transfer paper because I will use transfer paper five or six times before I throw it away so I took my transfer paper and this particular brand um, and type is really sticky it's stickier than I want so the first time I use it like this is the first time I've used this piece I will stick it onto my shirt or my pant jeans or my shorts, whatever I'm wearing, um, so that it is got a little bit of uh, lack, it takes away a little bit of the stickiness, and that helps you pull it off. Okay, um, and so I just put this on here. I'm really careful to put one of the lines on the transfer paper with the line of my words. That just, I don't know, it helps you... Um, line it up on whatever you're using and then I rub that on there and now when I pull off the transfer paper the adhesive foil letters are stuck to the back of the transfer paper and now see how easy it's going to be to put it onto my tube now I want to use some of my pennies to keep my tube from rolling around I want to have it be total opposite side of where that residue is so I'm going to take some of my pennies and quarters and I'm just going to put it to keep it from rolling and then I'm going to line it up wherever I want it as you can see this is all one thing like the um, every letter is connected to every letter is connected to the mouse ears and so um, there's no individual even the dot on the I is up inside the opening of the D so that there's no pieces that are going to fall off. There's no individual letters. When I made this one, well, you can see none of them fell off, which is great. I did weld it together here, but these letters didn't get welded together. And it turned out fine, but I just decided I wanted to make it even more solid. And then, all right, you got to get it started. This stuff is really sticky, y'all. This transfer paper, see how sometimes your letters don't want to come off. Just pull it off really slowly. See if a bit of that S doesn't want to come off. So just work it off. Don't pull it off too quickly. Don't just rip it. And there we have our cutie pie pressed penny uh, tube. Now I'm going to take this piece of transfer paper. Oops, I'm going to stick it back on the piece I pulled it off of. And I can use this several more times. And I just want to, one other little thing. See, that's super cute. One other little thing that I want to tell you is that what I will do is I will, before I give it to him, I will um, put these in there in order. Obviously not these, but if these, if I'm going to fill this up with some pennies and quarters so he can make press pennies, I will put two, because it typically takes two quarters and then I will do a penny and then I'll put two more quarters and then I will do a penny and so on. I'll tell you, I wouldn't fill it up. This thing, I put $10, um, I think I put $10 worth of quarters in this for my son before, and it was literally filled up to like here. <laughs> and so I will not be filling this up completely, but also this, the press pennies will fit in there. So if they want to put them in there when they're done, they can put their press pennies in there. So um, it's a super handy, fun little thing. And um, my boys love collecting pressed pennies. And so be sure and make something cute like this for them to put it in. It costs practically nothing and it really makes it fun. He knows it's his because of the color and he knows what's in it. Something just fun. So anyway, be sure and check out my other videos on how to cut out these little things. I've got all kinds of other things that I will cut out like these wedding flower labels. I've got all kinds of bottle labels around here, and I want you guys to join me on my blog, thepenningtonpoint.com, where I have other tips and fun and fun things and encouragement and fun joy for you. So um, 
come around, check me out on Facebook, and I'll see you later. Have a fun pressed penny time.